Hi everybody. Let me turn this fan off. I haven't recorded in a while and I thought, you know, it's probably a good idea to do a little recording. And I'm working on making a camping journal, volume four. So I've actually filled uh, three camping journals now. So I'm working on the next one. And I had this paper from Flow Magazine. So there's the one side and the other, and then there were some stickers from a Flow Big Book of Paper or something like that. So this is what I'm doing. And I <clears throat> kinda, I don't wanna leave, I kinda wanna just cut the edge off. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I think I'll just use the paper trimmer to start this. And let's see, I think it might be easier than my usually crooked cutting. Yeah, that looks better. And then I'll cut this off otherwise because obviously there is glue, glue on it. I need to get that off. I used um, hang on a sec. I used a fabric fusion glue, which I'm not sure was the best choice. Anyway, thought I'd try it. <laughs> and that's yeah, like messy, messy. Oh my gosh. Got a bit of overage of glue on here, so I want to at least try and get it off. Um... Hopefully none of my pages are gonna stick together because I glued them. So, okay. And I, I'll show you, I wanna show you my camping setup and everything, but I don't know how much time I have right now to do it. Let's see what I can get done before my husband gets home. Okay. And we'll just cut that up. And we'll do this one. Yeah, I'm not going to use that glue again. At least not for anything but fabric. I'll use it for fabric. But I'll stick to the usual glue that I use, which is the fabri -Tac doesn't seem to be as runny or something. Oops, cutting too much. That happens all the time. Let's make sure we get the glue off of here too. Don't need glue sticking to that. Okay, so that's basically what I'm gonna do. And I gotta get things written on here as well. But I thought it'd be fun to use these, I think, yeah, these are stickers. And <clears throat> I thought it'd be kind of fun just to have the stickers in here. And I'm gonna put this one here. Where, where, where do I want her? I'm gonna put her on the back. I don't want her on the front. Um, oops, I just, I like, I like her, but I would want her back here. So then on the front, I'm gonna put just some cute little stickers. Maybe this one right here. And we'll get the little rabbit and we'll put him up here. Obviously these guys are too big but they're cool and I like them. So I'm just gonna put them on here, even if they're huge. <laughs> and let's put the owl up here. And there's a little, a little mouse. We're gonna put him down right here. And there's some flowers. So we'll just kinda 
do that. Just kind of doing things a little willy-nilly, obviously, but that there. And oh, there's a little snail. He's so cute. We're going to just put him down here as well. And, and then I'll have my writing in there. So back here, we can just do something like that. And I'm just going to use all these up. I, I don't even know what that is. So I'm just going to leave it because I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'm going to just put some things here. Kind of make it pretty. Flowers. I'm just real simple and quick and um, okay and we have a butterfly so we'll just put the little butterfly up here and I have a raccoon of course I have a raccoon and I'm going to turn that around I'm going to put the raccoon right here Okay, so really simple. That's that's um, all I'm gonna do. I think I'll put this page um, in here, but let's just use regular glue because I'm gonna I'm gonna put plastic over this anyway, like tape. I'd like to use the packaging tape, so I'm gonna do that because I was I just feel like that glue was not the right choice in this case so that's just how it is sometimes anyway i can just cut this off here okay very simple and um <clears throat> yeah so what i want to do is Yeah, and then I, I need to glue all this, of course. And I'm gonna use, maybe I can use this, ah, that would be perfect, to put the volume number and everything on here. So let's do that. I'll just go like this. Kinda like it like that. Okay, so what I need to do then is it's very easy just to do this, really. You just don't have to take any time. Just do it. So, I'm gonna put the packaging tape on. So we'll go like this. <laughs> See if I, oh, this is good, strong packaging tape, obviously. So, which is good. I had some really cheap stuff. I didn't even know I had the good stuff left, so I'm pretty happy about that. Okay. And we'll just keep going. I do like this because um, it does protect the cover. And since these journals do last um, like a whole season and sometimes more, I do like to make sure that the covers are well protected. All right, so I'm going to just fold that one down and this one fold like that and I kind of cut that wh wacky that will just go like this and and then just to make sure it's good I'm just gonna put another piece in here okay so now um, before I do this side 
I need to put the volume that this is. And I think I'm going to use this gray. And this is going to be Camping Journal. volume four and this will be 2021 till 2022 that should cover that season perfectly so let's get this next bit on here okay Oh, you know, this heavier duty packaging tape over the cheap one is so much better because the cheap one wrinkles a lot when you do do this. So it's really nice to have one that's not wrinkling. And I'm going to do this because it seemed like it was coming up here. And I would prefer that it did not. Okay, on to the next. last little bit. Okay. And I think I'm going to just fold it over and cut this. Just trim this. Anyway, this will make it so that it lasts a long time because I really do um, do use these the whole camping season and get them filled up and I want them to really last. I'm gonna just put a little extra right here. Just give it a little bit of extra help. And um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put right down the middle here so that have any issues with the where this is giving way at all there I think that'll help it stay nice and strong all right so I'm all ready for I'm almost done the one I'm working in I'm on the last um, one I also have this adorable I really want to use this um, in here beautiful ribbon that a friend gave me and I kind of like to put it in here just because it's so pretty and I like it so I think I'll just snip that and use some of my let's see do I have one that's open I guess I have to use this again, but I'm just going to use it sparingly because I don't want my paper wrinkling too much. All right. That'll be kind of like, since this is my intro page. I can just do that a little bit. So, oops, that moved a little too. I gotta, gotta watch that. <laughs> Not known for being real careful sometimes. Okay, so we're just gonna let that be there. Um, I'll put something in here kind of to intro this book when I use it. And that I want to show you, let me stand up because that will be easier. I want to show you my tote. This is the tote I use for oops, camping. So you can see how big it is. Um, at least a, a foot for sure and about nine. Um, and here's, 
it's a really good size tote. I got it at Michael's. So there's the lid. And let me see here. I don't want to. I don't want to crush anything. <laughs> so here's what I bring. I have a few stamps that I bring. Um, just some birds and there's a camping a camper one and just different ones and then I always do my edges with this um, ink from I can't remember the name but anyway I daub it on the edges and then I have a couple of good um, scissors and then these are the pens I use the lip pen and some sharpie but mostly the lip pen felt clips, and I have a hole punch in case I need it. This is a razor blade, some twine, some tweezers, some white out, some little sample bags and clip paper clips and things like that. And then I keep some, like the tape, adhesive tape, and some refills, and I keep some glue and some talcum powder in case something gets sticky on the paper and a little assortment of washi for camping. And then in here I have my camping journal. So um, here's the one I'm currently using and it's, it's almost done. In fact, this was my, let me just put this lid on so I can show, actually let me show it to you after here. Here I have stickers, there's some Hershey bar stuff different camping things to decorate my journal with. Um, I have a couple of uh, sticker stamps for stamping. I have these for lettering. And I also have some alpha stickers. I got a couple of magazines that I take pictures, sometimes cut pictures out of it as well. Here is my inks. I have a few stickers in here. It's actually some charms I want to use for camping. I got my passport book for the state parks and some double-sided tape. So that's what I bring with me when I camp. And it's really sufficient. It's really all I need. It's very easy to bring. I'm going to put, since this book will be next, I'm going to just slip it in here, and I have um, a camping log right here where I just write across where we went and the temperature, what site we were in, what the site was like, and the cost. And um, this is the one, volume three, which was 2020 to 2021, and I'll just do a very quick flip through so you can see so everyone I start I did as you can see I just uh, put the ink stain or whatever on the edges and then I always have the start of one like this was a family reunion and where we were in the map of the park and then each day I just go through and put each day and journal and put stickers and washi tape. There's the next park. And here's my 2021 camping. So here's the park and the map of the campground. And here's another one that was this year, like Elmo for Memorial Day weekend. And then then we went to Lake Billsby last month. So that was that trip. And then we just did St. Croix Bluffs this past weekend. And since we had Sadie with us, I have a bunch of kids stickers, camping stickers. So I used um, a lot of those. And that's the end. And then the last trip is going to be this weekend. That'll be our family reunion at Willem O'Brien State Park. So I did prep my pages, and that will be the end of this. And then I get to start in this one for the next camping trip. So 
Um, that's what I do. And it fits right in here. There's lots of space. I don't have to worry about space. And I just close it up and I am totally ready to go. So I hope you like that. I hope if you take trips, um, I do the same thing if we go on vacation. I have travel stickers and a special travel journal for each vacation um, and do the same sort of thing. Um, so I hope you found that useful and thanks for watching. Bye.